preseason started for the St. Louis Blues. Another seven more weeks, and they'll have the first game to give us all the detailed information is Andy Strickland. Good morning, Andy Strickland. You say seven more weeks or seven more days? How, when's, when's the first game? October 9th. Oh, okay. So, so we're almost the, just barely over a week away. Really? Yeah. All right. Do you know, so they play the Edmonton Oilers uh, for, in for the, the opener? season opener. Okay. Edmonton has like this phenom, prodigy, the next coming of Wayne Gretzky, mm. Connor McDavid. He's like the biggest story. Connor McDavid? Connor yeah, McDavid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is the, I don't know what that was. Did you hurt yourself saying it's that? It's like your brogue, your Irish. No, it's nothing <laughs> yes, like my Irish is. brogue. Connor McDavid. You don't know who he is, Kelly? No. He's Mr. Yeah, and Mrs. McDavid's son. I know yeah. that much. So he's from the Toronto area. Uh, he's been a phenom since he was like, okay. you know, one so of those. He's a child he's prodigy. One of those, yeah. Okay. So they have like a lottery in the NHL for the draft. You know, who's going to get the first? Edmonton gets it like every year. So we're starting to wonder how this is happening. You know, yeah. Edmonton gets the first overall pick every year, including this year. This is one of those players that. Oh, could so like, he's not going to play this in next week or something? No, he will play. Oh, he will play. Oh, yeah. He's like tearing up the preseason. Oh, okay. Wayne Gretzky has said like he's going to, you know. I, Shatter all my records. Yes. And, really? Is and he of a course, winger? Of course, Gretzky started his career with the uh, Edmonton Oilers as well. So, uh, And he's going to end the Phoenix Coyotes franchise, but that's, that's a whole so, other issue. So he's coming here to play his first ever game, so it's going to be a madhouse down at Scott Trail with all the media. It's going to be pretty sad. How yeah. old is he? Uh, 18. 18? 18. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So yeah. what, was he just drafted? Has he played any professional hockey He's at all? never played a professional game in his life outside of the preseason. So he was just drafted this, this last year? Just drafted in June. Wow. And he looks like he's about... 14 and a half. Yeah. Right? Ladies and gentlemen, that's Andy Strickland. All right, you're uh, hosting <laughs> Hockey Sense tomorrow yeah, tomorrow, night. tomorrow. Looking forward to that. You know, I... And it's brought to you by Napleton Mid Rivers Automotive Group. Got to throw that out there. So uh, happy to, to have them on board. A week from tomorrow is basically going to be I, I, what I call the kickoff show. Okay, where Ken Hitchcock is going to join me live at Obie Clark's, and we will, uh, you know, really begin to, to dissect the upcoming season. Which you know, by that time, the game will be just 48 hours away. All right. Um, where did they trade uh, uh, T.J. Oshie to? Well, to Washington. Okay. Yeah, he's playing with Alexander Ovechkin. Oh. Yeah. So, you know, nice, you know, talk about hitting the jackpot. You yes. know, uh, T.J. Oshie is going to have an opportunity to put up uh, career offensive numbers yes. based off of playing with arguably the greatest goal scorer in the National Hockey League today. So um, I think he's loving it, you know, so far in terms of getting his feet wet, you know, during the preseason, you know, by everything I've read and seen so far. Well, all right. What about the playoffs, the Cardinal playoffs and the, and the, uh, the Blues home opener? Where are we with that? Do we know where that is yet? Well, they don't have the uh, Cardinal playoff schedule yet, you know? So as soon as they come up with a Cardinal playoff schedule, we'll know if there's going to be conflicts. But listen, this has been the case for years, right? <laughs> right. Where every game the Blues, the Blues play in October yeah. is going up against a Cardinal <laughs> playoff game. Mm -hmm. It never changes. And I've never understood why the Blues played so many home games in October. This year, it's different. Well, thank goodness. They were finally able to get the schedule to where it probably benefits them, where they play a home game to start the season, October 9th. Okay. Uh, and then they leave for six straight games. So they play, I think, three home games in the whole entire month well, that, of October. I don't know if that's all that good either, though. Well, well, for attendance, maybe, but not for the grind of being on the road for six games. No, exactly. So that's going to be interesting what that looks like, McGraw, yeah. coming out of that road trip. Uh, all right. And then uh, what do you think of uh, the Cardinals as we get ready for the playoffs there, oh, wise one? Well, you know what? Um, I always believe that the better you're playing entering the postseason – the better you're going to be. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a brilliant okay. deduction okay. right there. So, the better you're playing, so the better you're going to play. They're so hot and cold right now uh, and with the injuries, but that was a big win last night. If they're able to do that again in Pittsburgh, you talk about all of a sudden rejuvenating yourself. You hate what you saw from Stephen uh, Biscotti last night. So, but I mean, look, know, you, 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 you've got Carlos Martinez. In, in, yeah. in the last He's 72 out. hours, yes. you've lost yeah. Martinez. You lost Yachty, at least for the first series, it sounds mm -hmm. like. And now you got Piscotti. Added that to the entire other list of, of injuries, they're going to start calling you up to play. Yeah, I, and, I would, and I would like that, actually. But, you know, um, what are you going to do? I mean, they have injuries, you know? So you start to go out there and play. Who would you rather but, play, the Pirates or the Cubs? Uh, I would rather play, you know what, that's a, that's a, that's a coin toss for me, just yeah. based off of how both, the, you know, both. First of all, the Cardinals haven't been able to win in Pittsburgh. I was surprised they won that game last night. Right. You know, you look at their, I think the last time they won a series in Pittsburgh was Mike Matheny, Mike Matheny's when he was on the first month that he was on the job. Okay, <laughs> right. that's how far back it goes. Uh, and then in terms of Chicago, 
you know, they've been playing some of the best baseball in the entire league the second half. So I don't know. That's I, a coin toss. I would. I think I'd rather play the Pirates. I don't want to play the Cubs. Yeah. I don't want to. Pl- I don't want to face Arietta at all. Well, you don't want to face Arietta, and you know what? There's just something different about that team right now because of their manager. They're just playing different. They, you know, they feel different. There's something different about the Chicago Cubs. Uh, I got 50 seconds. Yeah. Anything? Any? Any brilliant insight on your Rams? Because my my feeling yeah. is when you're playing bad, you're not playing good. No, I know, but uh, how's, how's that for insight? I just keep hearing Mike Martz in my head saying, <laughs> saying, that's deep, saying, McGraw. we'll fix it. You know, that's what Mike Martz used to always say: we'll fix it. You we'll know? fix it. We'll I mean, fix it. They find ways to lose in every different way. <laughs> but when the, I will tell you this: they, so they you do know, snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. So you know how the field caught on fire? Yes. Right, you heard about that, right? Only yes. in St. Louis that the field catch on fire. So some media people were tweeting about the field catching on fire. Yes. Only to have a Rams representative come over and demand they delete that tweet. Really? Yes. Really? There's some breaking news. Yeah. So it was a tweet basically joking around about Stan Kroenke. He wants to leave so bad that right. you know the field is catching on fire. And they were asked, did the demanded to delete, to delete that tweet? Did the media release that or, or uh, acquiesce? I gotta I gotta double check that. If they did, that's even worse. That if they is actually worse. Deleted it. That'd you know? be really yeah, shocking they, if they did. That's mm-hmm. a scandal yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. Well, way to bury the lead. Five minutes into the segment. Yeah, By the now way, we're done. Well, you wait to, to ask me about the Rams for the last question. <sighs> Andy Strickland, ladies and gentlemen, Fox Sports Midwest reporter, KTRS host. Tomorrow night, Hockey Sense at O.B. Clarks. Thanks for checking in. Thank you. Traffic weather next on KTRS. If you want to make smart choices,